Today we'll be creating a line graph. Now before you can create any graph, you have to have data in order that you need to graph. So here's an example of some data of daily high temperatures. You can see that there is a title that it shows the day label and the temperature label. And then underneath the day column, you have all of the days of one week. Those are also labels. Then you have your actual data. Those are the numbers. So what we're going to do first is draw our line graph. So it's best to use a piece of graph paper. And in third grade, um, I like to use half inch um, squared graph paper. So if you're getting your own or printing out your own, half inch square is what um, we like to use in third grade. So we always put the title at the top of our graph. That's the wrong pen. This one's kind of running out. Let me grab a different pen quickly. Hopefully this shows up nicely. So we have daily high temperatures. Oh, that looks good. Daily high temperatures. Now, just like with the bar graph, you need to have an X and Y axis. So the X axis is always horizontal, the Y axis is always vertical. And it's important to remember the difference between the two. So this is your X axis. And here is the Y axis. Okay, um, along the bottom, we're gonna have the days and going up the side, we're gonna have the temperatures. So I'm gonna put those main labels on either side. So here are the day labels, and then this is going to be the temperatures. Okay, so the days that we recorded the temperatures are Sunday. So I'm gonna put SU, and then Monday. Tuesday, we're gonna put TU. Wednesday, Thursday, TH, Friday will be F, and Saturday will be SA. Now notice I wrote these on the lines, because in a line graph, you need to plot your points on the lines where the lines intersect or where they cross over, okay? So now we're going to put temperatures. Now our highest temperature on our chart is 99 and our lowest temperature is 92. Now we don't need to put 92 on the bottom line and 99 on the top line. It's often um, good to go between tens like do um, 90 to 100 or if it went lower 80 to 100 or whatever. But so I think we'll go 90 to 100 and we're going to do one temperature per line. I want to make sure these will fit. So if I do 90 here, we have 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So that'll work perfectly. So I'm going to put 90 down here on the very bottom line. Now on most of your graphs, this started out at zero, but we don't need to go zero to 100 because our line would be really small and be squished way up here. We want to really see the temperature going up and down. So we're going to put 91 here and notice I'm doing it on the line, not in the space. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so now there is our graph. Now we're ready to plot our data. So just like on a um, bar graph, you want to slide up the scale to the number and then slide over to the line for the day that that temperature occurred on. So let's look at Sunday's temperature. It says on Sunday it was 92. So we're going to start at 90, we're going to go up to 92, and then we're going to slide over to Sunday. And you want to put the dot right on the corner where the lines intersect, where they cross over. So there's 92. Monday was 96. 
So we're going to slide up to 96, go over to Monday, put a dot right there. It's just a little dot. Tuesday was 94. Slide up to 94, go over to Tuesday, plot your point right where the lines cross over. Wednesday was 98, go up to 98, over to Wednesday. See, so this is the line with Wednesday on it. If you want to use two hands, you can. You can do 98 and Wednesday, slide over and slide up and where they meet, if that works better for you. Okay, Thursday was 97. So we're going to go up to 97. We're going to go over to Thursday and draw our dot. Now Friday and Saturday were both 99. So we're going to go up to 99 and over to Friday. We'll make a dot for Friday. Am I in the right place? Nope. Dot for Friday and then over to Saturday, make a dot for Saturday. Now I've plotted my points. Those are called points. But what I need to do now is draw a line in between. So the best way to do this is to get a straight line by using a ruler. So we're going to use a ruler for this last part. You can use anything that has a straight edge to it, but rulers are usually easier. You don't actually have to measure anything. You just need the straight edge. Now this is kind of like a dot to dot. You want to go from the first day to the second day to the third day to the fourth day and so on. A mistake that many third graders will make is that they'll just connect the dots in any order. Like they'll go, oh look, these make a line. I'll connect there, I'll connect these. And that doesn't show you the, um, the information that you need to see. So we're gonna connect the Sunday dot to the Monday dot. I'm gonna put my ruler on each of the dots and draw my line in between. Okay, now I'm gonna move my ruler from the Monday dot to the Tuesday dot. Okay, now I'm going to connect the Tuesday dot and the Wednesday dot. And now I'm going to, wait, that was Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday. Now I'm connecting Wednesday to Thursday. And then I'm going to connect, no, Tuesday to Wednesday. I'm sorry, I keep messing that up. Now I'm connecting Wednesday to Thursday. Or is it Thursday to Friday? No, it's Thursday to Friday. These lines are messing with my eyes. Okay, so we did Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, and now we're connecting Friday and Saturday. Now you can see that the temperatures are gradually going up. So you could probably guess that these would be summer temperatures because summer temperatures are higher. So the temperatures are gradually going up. So if someone asked you, hmm, what do you think the temperature might be on Sunday next week? You could say, well, it's probably going to be around 99 degrees because it could go up to 100 or it could be 98, but the temperatures are gradually going up. So it looks like it could probably be around 99 degrees. You can also answer questions or ask questions like, what two days have the same temperature? Those two days would be Friday and Saturday. You could say, what day had the lowest temperature? That would be Sunday. Okay, what days showed no decrease? That's where the temperature went down in temperature. You could say Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because it increased and stayed the same those days. And you could say, which day showed the mo the biggest decrease in temperature? That would be Monday to Tuesday because it went down farther than this one did. This only went down one degree, this one went down two. So there's lots of information you can show using a line graph.